Hi, my name is Casey Thomas and I'm back for another video. In this video, I want to talk about how I got started doing my Facebook Lives. Now, originally, I was resistant to the idea, but let me tell you what changed my mind. One day after service, I was standing around talking to my cousin and a friend of mine. My cousin brings up this conversation and says, hey, you know, there's a lot of people online that are selling jewelry. And I'm wondering why my cousin isn't online selling jewelry. And I kind of looked at her like, oh. She said, to be quite honest, the stuff that you make is a lot better than what I've seen. So why aren't you showcasing it? And then my friend that was standing there was chiming in saying, yeah, why aren't you selling it? It just makes sense for you to do. And I was resistant to it. I'm telling you guys, I did not want to have any parts about selling online. Why? One, because everybody else was selling their stuff online. And I was like, I don't want to be a copycat. I don't want to do what they're doing. I mean, I just don't want to do it. But I was talking myself out of something that would be beneficial to my company. Now, I'm bringing all of this up to say that sometimes we talk ourselves out of our own blessing. We talk ourselves out of our own uh, destiny because we're too busy concerned about what other people are doing. Now, what I did know at the time was there was no other handmade artists on there selling their jewelry. I'm not talking about posting it. I'm not talking about being in a group. I'm saying doing Facebook lives. And as a result of it, I was able to carve out my niche and be known for selling handmade jewelry online. I'm so glad I took the leap because now I'm on here talking with you and encouraging you to take a leap. Now, if you know any handmade artist that sells jewelry, makes their own jewelry, and they're doing a live, please connect us together because I would like to be a part of a community or start a community of individuals that are making their own jewelry and that are willing to take their business to another level by selling online. Listen, guys, we can't just go to fairs and sell our jewelry. We need to do more than that. We need to not only sell our stuff in boutiques, we not only should be trying to get our stuff into stores or to celebrities or whatever we want to do as far as our jury line, as far as that concern, we also need to be online selling our jury. I told you in previous video that selling online is an untapped market for the handmade artists. Why? Because they think I'm not going to sell online. I want to do it in person. But I'm telling you, you're missing out on a great opportunity. And let me tell you, by the way, when I first got online and I did my first live, I sold all of my jewelry. I was so shocked. And I was amazed that people had been looking for me. People had been wanting to see what I was making. And I'm telling you, it has been the best decision that I could have made regarding my business. It has grown my business. Now, I'm not saying my business is all, you know, big and all up there. But let me tell you, it is growing. It is climbing. It is becoming known because I put aside my reservations and decided to go for it. Now, if you are a handmade artist that wants to go live or you're thinking about going live or you want to be a part of a, you know, community that will challenge you to go live, put something in the chat. Let's talk because there is a need for handmade artists to begin to show themselves. Listen, I have nothing against uh, manufactured jewelry. I still buy it. But I want the handmade community to also be represented. So again, if you're interested in becoming a part of that community and becoming a part of a great 
community that will catapult you further let's start, let's have a conversation let's start it up all right that has been my story about how I got started on Facebook. Now, if you want to share your story, go ahead and drop me a line. I'll talk to you soon.